After a spinal cord injury, many people experience changes other than paralysis and loss of sensation. For example, your bowel and bladder control may be altered. Your blood pressure and circulation can be affected. And in some cases, your ability to control your body temperature or your breathing. Anyone with an injury above the T6 level needs to be aware of a dangerous condition called autonomic dysreflexia. Autonomic dysreflexia is an increase in blood pressure, and signs include headaches, sweating, and goosebumps. For information about autonomic dysreflexia, click on the tab marked AD. Spinal cord injury can also cause pain, resulting from damage to the nerves that transmit pain signals to the brain. In people with spinal cord injuries, this is called nerve pain or neuropathic pain. You may also experience something called spasms. This is where muscles move without your brain telling them to, like muscle twitches. Spasms can be sudden, violent jerky motions, or a repetitive rhythmic pattern. They happen because the spinal cord still has life below the injury, but isn't properly connected with the brain. Again, every injury is different. Not everyone may experience pain or spasms, and different people experience them in different ways. You'll need to learn about your individual circumstances and how your spinal cord injury affects your body.